Here's a Blackwater rebuild update showing the mill marks on the block itself. It appears as though it was decked. Possibly a little bit better than OEM, but had bone gaskets twice. Let me get this to focus there. They do check out flat using the forward recommended procedure with a feeler gauge and a straight edge down to uh, one and a half thousandths. So the milling isn't too bad on the on the box surface. Compare that to this other bone engine we have over here. This was a supposedly bulletproofed engine from a diesel specialty shop up here in Missouri. And you can tell they used a wire wheel. Oddly enough, their head gaskets weren't blown. You can see uh, right in there. They just used a wire wheel. Really bad polishing job. Back to the Blackwater engine here. Here is the number seven cylinder. You can see uh, where the ring just uh, started scraping away at the cylinder wall. You can kind of see the honing, honing down as you get down in there. When you get up up here towards the lip, and you can see there's a maybe 15 thousandths right there of a lip all the way around. There's a nice ridge right up in here. So it was a ring failure. The engine had blow by its whole lifetime, and then uh, it was up in Canada, and it just. Uh, completely blue. Here is the actual number seven piston and the center ring actually seized up in there. You know despite the the burnt oil um, it actually doesn't look all that bad um, but this ring apparently seized up and, and just started cutting away at the cylinder wall and with the 40 over block uh, it uh, had way too much flex in the cylinder wall. So whether the milling had in anything to do with the head gaskets blowing or not, uh, we can't say for sure yet.